Mr. Rents here. Can I have a word with you, sir? If they want to get rid of Amelia, I say we go on strike. Dr. Blackwell has always had our backs, and we need to stand up for her. With so many agents lost, they can't afford to lose us, too. I'm sure the others will back me up on this. Amelia is our leader, and that's just that. March 1866, the war between the states might be over, but the larger war, the secret war, continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sanguizuja's vicious predations. Because of that, we must ramp up our efforts. Our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the Home Office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. So vulnerable. Senior Agent Hall will be the guard at the Rentier's room. He's safe here, sir. Rest assured, no tick can reach him in Calico. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The wounds William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they'll let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Mora Pass? That plan that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn are taking the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William. Just in case, I don't make it back in time. Amelia's glad you brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you in her lab.
That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sangrasus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is de Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beast they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Holy moly, where are my notes? As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But... If we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. So, did you already find it? That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them.
quite a find. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm going to take it for a test drive. Thanks. Eighteen ninety Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Indian. What is that a picture of? Down. 
money. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. Take it. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... <sighs> of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. the other two and we can open the gate and get down there can't anything be simple here
Gotta squeeze through. More money. Oh, that's tight. Holy moly, it's cold. Got the second one. That's mine. That should be it. Good work, Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? Sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge.
least I got closer. I'll take that. Hey, Mr. Jesse, hey! Are you alright? So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this! With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? Nah, you're still good for comic relief. I am? Ready to roll, sir? Deeper down into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them. found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa. 
but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any sandwich shoes we previously encountered.
all right there, Verge? I am, as long as that big, ugly bat thing is dead for good. Mr. Jesse? Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big <laughs> glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. 